Now today we are going to look at a past paper question on transformation. So in this lesson I want to highlight how to answer a typical exam question uh, with some illustrations here. So I have chosen this question because it seems to be challenging. So my question reads answer the wall of this question on a sheet of graph paper. The triangle A is vertices 2, 2, 5, 2 and 8, 4. Using a scale of 2 centimeters to represent 2 units on both axes, draw x and y axis, 4 minus 8 up to 10 on the x axis, then minus 8 up to 8 on the y axis. So nowadays in the syllabus 4 to 30, you'll be given scale. I'm not sure if they will continue to do that in the future. So for now, let's assume you are given scale and you must draw that uh, scale. 2 cm is that big square in your graph board uh, divided by board lines so it measures 2 cm even if you take a ruler and prove that so draw and label triangle A then part B is a translation minus 9 2 part C a reflection in the y in the line y is equals to minus x then part D you are given the coordinates minus 2 4 4 4 10 8 then you are required to draw and then describe the transformation. Then number A, part A, you are given a, a transformation represented by this matrix half, zero, zero, one and half. Then, then on part F, uh, it's triangle F, and the clockwise rotation of uh, 90 degrees about the point 0.2 minus 2. Then you are required to draw triangle F. So I will take you step by step. Make sure you screenshot this uh, question and follow step by step. So I will start by writing my coordinates for A and draw the x axis. So my A is 2, 2, 5, 2, and 8, 4. Then I will draw my axis. So this is my x-axis I will label, this is my x and this is my y here. So I've drawn according to the instructions 2 centimeters to represent 2 units. So on my graph this is 2 centimeters. So check with your graph, it is bounded by board lines. This means your square must be 2 centimeters. Then I will plot my points 2, 2, 5, 2, and 8, 4. So these are my points. I've plotted my points 2 against 2, 5 will be 5 against 2, then 8 against 4. Then I will join in order, then label triangle A inside my triangle. Then I will go on part B. With the transaction uh, translation it was a translation with vector minus line with two therefore i will write my matrix for the uh, triangle so two two e five two e eight four e then i will add the translation vector it's minus nine and two so minus nine on the x coordinate and plus two on the y coordinate then my answer will be 2 minus 9 is minus 7 5 minus 9 is minus 4 8 minus 9 is minus 1 2 plus 2 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 then I will plot my points and draw let me rewrite this so these are my points this is 1 minus 1 here against 6 uh, minus 4 against 4 minus 7 against 7 then I will join in order and label B so this will be my triangle B translated by vector minus 9 2 then I will go to the next equation but seeing reflection in the line Y is equals to minus X so the first thing is to find a positive and a negative point uh, for x so that we can find the value of y so i will draw 
my uh, square here on my table so this I will write the values of y after finding the values of x so my x I've chosen positive 4 here and negative 4 so for positive 4 if I'm replacing x with 4 this becomes y is equal to minus 4 if I'm replacing x with minus 4 it's minus minus 4 which becomes positive 4 so this will be positive 4 so I'm going to match minus 4 against 4 4 against minus 4 so minus 4 on x uh, will match with positive 4 on y so I will plot and draw I will join the two points minus 4 and 4 minus 4 and 4 then I will label my line y is equals to minus x then on this line I'm going to reflect my triangle so on a reflection the first thing is to identify lines that go to the reflection line like this this is my line I will go on the opposite direction the same distance you can see there here I have two squares so I go there two squares I do the same here Mm, yeah. So from this point, I'm touching the line. Then I will do it again. The same distance. So this is three and half squares. So this will be three and half squares. This is a half. One, two, three. Then I will do the same with the last point. Yeah. Then the distance. I think it's here. And these are two four, six big squares, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I will uh, draw. Let me remove this so that you can see clearly. Then I will draw and label C. Now for D, I'm going to draw given coordinates I'm already given on part D I'm already given the coordinates minus 2 and 4 then 4 4 then I'll plot my points minus 2 minus 2 here and positive 4 I'll plot here 4 and positive 4 I'll plot here then 10 and 8 I'll plot here and join like this and label D Then on part, oh, oh, okay, I'm on part B of this. On part two of uh, part D, I'm required to explain. So this is a positive enlargement. Why? Because it is going in the same direction. So you draw lines to find the center of enlargement. So where they meet, you just uh, plot against the points and touch all points like this. You can see that they are meeting here at uh, six, uh, so that will be the center. So on your description, it's positive enlargement center six zero. That's how you describe an enlargement. Then on the next part, part E, I'm given a matrix. Then I will write my matrix for the shape, which is two two five two and eight four. Then I'll multiply. So if you are given a matrix and required to draw a shape, you must multiply the matrix given in the matrix of the shape. Check on lesson number two on the matrix of the shape. So half times two, it's one. Zero times two is zero. So I'll write here, I'll get one. Half times five is two and a half. Uh, plus zero, it remains two, two and a half. Half plus uh, eight is four. Then here, zero times and uh, 2 is 0, 1 and a half times 2 is 3. So that's how you do it. You multiply the matrices, then draw now these are the coordinates 1 against 3, 2 and a half, and 3, 4 and 6. 
Now, plot here. One, positive one, again is positive three. Then two and a half, again is positive three. Then four, again is six. I will draw and label. So this will be my E, my triangle E. Then, on part F, I'm required to draw rotation 90 degrees clockwise to minus 2 center. So the first thing is to identify the center of rotation, which is here. It's 2 and minus 2. It's 2 and minus 2. Therefore, I will reflect this is 90 degrees from the point. So I will start with this point on 90 degrees here. Yeah, you can see that this is 90 degrees. So I will just follow the board lines. They will give me 90 degrees. Then here, yeah, if I draw, let me use another color. If I draw with black here, yeah, hey, you will just use these temporal lines to see your direction of the diagram then you can see it's coming here this will form 90 degrees then on this point let me use blue on this point ninety degrees will be somewhere So this will be 90 degrees. So I will draw. So let me label it draw. Right. So this will be my point F. This point will, will be rotated to this, and this point will be rotated to this, and this point will be rotated 90 degrees to this point. So this is F. So that's how you are supposed to answer this question. This marks the end of our revision uh, lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to do another uh, video on the past papers.